Um, I'm Casey Williams, and I am the library director of the Blount County Public Library in Maryville, Tennessee. And I, I am so lucky that I have the opportunity to share this wonderful program that has helped so many people in our community. Um, Blount County had an interesting response to the opioid e epidemic. Um, we have a really high incidence of opioid prescriptions and we have a large percentage of the population that are the working poor. So they have been the, the bulk of the participants in our program. And I want to say this before I start talking. I have never met a recovery court participant that was not a wonderful person there but for the grace of God. And that, that it really puts it into perspective. We have seen all kinds of um, demographics through our program. Right now, we have about 135 participants. Some of them are uh, veterans. That's a lot in our county. This uh, program was put together by myself and Stephanie Monday, who is the Blount County Recovery Court counselor. And then Ari Baker is the instructional librarian and educational services manager for the library and has since taken over management of the program. It's been going on for about five years. So it started out with two classes with about 40 people and it's just grown exponentially. So the team is the library, which is a level five library and it has a very strong workforce development anyway. We have a STEM center for adults. And then uh, the recovery court is actually drug court. If those of you are familiar with counties that have drug court programs, but Blunt Counties has expanded to include life skills development. So what recovery court does? They provide uh, offenders with alternatives to their lifestyles, uh, court supervision, treatment, counseling. We provide the life skills education and we also provide a location for groups to meet. So they actually come to the library and they have begun to develop relationships and feel some ownership in the library. And then personal goal setting. A typical cycle for recovery court is three and a half years. Our life skills curriculum is 15 months. So every student that goes through or participant goes through it twice. And it has to be flexible enough because they hit it at any level. We could be in the middle of teaching about budgets and we have two new people. So we have to be able to um, give them the opportunity where if it doesn't have meaning in their life at that point, the next time it comes around, it does. And of course, this is Blunt County Library. We're the only library in our county, which is good because we're a pretty small county, 130,000 people. And we're able to pool our resources and do some really wonderful things for the community. All right. This was not something that we started out to do. Uh, Stephanie Monday and I, uh, she asked me to come over and do a little program for the two classes that were in existence when we started about what resources were available at the library. And afterwards, um, I said, what else can the library do? And she went, could we have coffee? So we had coffee. And she said, I need this. Can you do that? Now, I have a background in um, curriculum development, and I came out of schools and academia. Um, so I was like, yeah, we can do this. And so we just did it. We didn't ask permission. We, you know, we just did it. And I think that was a big factor in the success because it, like, flew under the radar for ages and ages. And as it got bigger and bigger, you know, then people started saying, hey, you know, I heard something about this program the library's doing. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's great. What we have now is we have four weekly counseling groups. Um, and the group times that they meet, each class or each session is one hour of training, life skills, and one hour of group session. Now, we step out when group session starts. Sometimes the training might take the whole two hours. We're pretty flexible. And then we give breaks between each module because we figured out because we couldn't control when people came in and left that we needed little modules. We have eight content areas, areas and these are the classroom hours for each area. Communication, financial, social, physical health, nutrition, personal appearance, interview modules, and resume modules. 
these were the outcomes that we worked on. So one of the primary outcomes and that we think is key is the relationship that has been developed between the library and the participants. Because once they're out of recovery court, they still have a, a, a support network and they use it. Um, they've co become comfortable in the library spaces. And you know, if you don't have a library card, it's not a place you feel, you know, that you've spent a lot of time. It's scary. Um, they successfully complete the modules and they have a sense of accomplishment. Um, it reinforces um, the skill set, creativity, independent thinking, um, self-knowledge, and it runs right along with the STEP program that they're going through, um, through for addiction recovery. And then it reinforces their technology skills. A lot of them don't have tech skills. They work in jobs where they have skills, uh, manufacturing, uh, other blue collar type jobs, but they don't have computer skills or literacy skills to the degree that they really need. We, uh, the nutrition module includes a cooking component. They have to work together in teams and they have to put together um, a menu. Then they have one class where two hours. So they have 30 minutes to get the grocery store, buy their stuff so that each person has to know what they're getting, get back to the library. They have an hour to cook it set the table, sit down and eat as a group, and then clean up. One of the most powerful things for me was the first time we did this module, we had a participant say that they had never in their life sat at a table and eaten dinner with a group of people that cared about them. They, they just never had that experience in their family life. Um, this is our STEM Center for Adults. This is where they meet. It's their space. And um, this is a typical group. This is um, more of the setting the table and saying prayers. And this is the recovery court team. Now, if Stephanie, this is Stephanie. This is my partner. If she were here, she would die if she knew I used this picture. But you know what? This says everything I need to tell you about the people that work in recovery court. They are amazing. This is a, they were a farm. And everyone comes at what they do from a different perspective. But in the end, they get the job done. And they're so great to work with. This is the um, Blount County Library team. These are the professional um, library staff. This is Ari right here. And Ari was going to come over here. I don't see him. Um, but he has um, taken over management of this program. And we have now, because we have four classes, that's a lot. Um, there is one professional librarian that works with him in each class. So there are five members of the library professional team that work on this program. We constantly modify the curriculum. One of the things we discovered, serendipitous, we were doing interview, the interview module, we would have them practice interviewing, we would, you know, record them. They hated it. And I, they didn't take away from it what we wanted them to, so we swapped the process. I got a big stack of actual applications for the library's entry level job. We redacted the important stuff and made them the interviewing team. So they had to look at the interview questions, know the job, figure out what questions they wanted to add as a group. Then they went through and they picked their candidates. And we had people come in from the outside that they didn't know. And they interviewed them and determined who they would pick and why. So, and it, it has worked very well. It's probably one of the best things that we've done besides nutrition. We've also brought in the health department. Um, they work with us on the health module and um, we've got um, Operation Hope, which does financial services for people that need to repair and rebuild. So it's perfect and um, we're starting a partnership with them. So it's many community services that we can pull into the curriculum and give them the opportunity to build a relationship with. The stronger, um, the, the greater the chances are there won't be recidivism 
we still have recidivism and we lose people. We have people that die and it's very painful to have invested, you know, two years in someone and have them um, slide and it end up being fatal. But all in all, we're, we're very, very happy with the way the program is building and the success rate as it grows. Um, the number one indicator for us right now, as far as outcomes, is that we had two participants actually get jobs with manufacturing companies in the area that are career jobs, with benefits and health care, you know, all, all the things that you hope someone will get when they're trying to put their life back together.